um, so I just want to take a few minutes um, to remember Kumar. Um, for those of you that, that were not aware of this, um, he passed away last Tuesday. He actually, um, from, from what we've heard from his roommates, he I came home after work and was in a really great mood and decided that he was going to go swimming in their apartment pool. And um, he drowned um, just suddenly, unexpectedly. It's, it's a very random thing. Um, and it, um, it it can be hard to um, approach death. I mean, I, I think death is the sort of the ultimate test of humanity. It's one of the, the things that really defines who we are, um, how we approach it, and how we how we deal with it. Um, you know, we can sing songs about it, we can make jokes about it, um, but in the end, it's coming for all of us, and we we don't know the hour or the day. Um, it can come. Um, with a lot of buildup, or it can come out of nowhere just randomly. And so, um, just as a way of saying goodbye to Kumar, he was he was only with us for in this group for you know a matter of months, really. Um, but he he really brightened up um, just about anything he was a part of. And he was um, I'll just show, I have some pictures to show. This was um, I think Larry took this picture of him at um, one of the social outings, one of the first social outings he came at. And that was pretty much Kumar most of the time with a big smile and um, at least one drink in his hand. <laughs> um, he was a really great guy. I, I didn't know him as well as I would have liked. He was always um, friendly, helpful, um, helped me move into my new house, in fact, just several weeks back. Um, and... Um, helped us here at the fellowship with some of our charitable outreaches. You know, he was active in uh, the AIDS supper, the monthly AIDS supper at the Ewing Center. Um, made great food, made really spicy Indian food, and he would bring it to the potluck, and um, it was really, really great. He loved having fun. He loved spending time with his friends, and um, can't, I mean, I, I know it's kind of a cliche, but I can't think of a single negative thing to say about the guy. Um, and I'd like to open it up to anybody else who'd like to um, to share uh, some thoughts as we remember Kumar. Um, and I'll, I'll just point out real quick that uh, we are collecting for a couple memorial tributes in his name. Um, Kumar was very active with the SPCA of Texas, very, very active. And so we'd like to make a, a gift to the SPCA in his name um, and also a gift to the Ewing Center where he spent a lot of time. Um, with us, um, you know, helping his fellow humans um, whenever he could. So um, those uh, the PayPal links for those donations are on the website, so you can find them there. You just talk to one of us. But does anybody else would like to remember Kumar? Hi, um, I'm Luke. I didn't really plan on coming up here, but I just thought I'd share a couple of memories I have of Kumar, um, two brief reminiscences. I only met Kumar New Year's Eve at a party, actually, um, and he was there drinking his dirty martinis and uh, uh, trying to get everyone to dance, um, which, if you know some of our friends, they're not too... Uh, too likely to do that, but um, he kept pushing, and music was playing, and we were just there in the kitchen dancing around. Um, he can be very persuasive. Uh, and uh, not two months later, around Oscar season, I threw a party um, and made kind of a contest to see who could predict the number of correct winners for the Oscars, and Kumar took this very seriously. Um, he is a big, big, or he, he was a big movie fan. Um, he So therefore, he went out and saw the, some 20-odd nominated movies. Um, and uh, he, he was kind of mad that um, someone who shall remain nameless just went to a website and looked up what the critics said who would win, and they ended up winning. So he was mad. But um, he, when he, puts his, he put his mind to things, he did things. And uh, he was full of life, and I'll miss him. Hi, I'm, I'm Jeff. Uh, Kumar and I uh, spent a lot of time together uh, 
I would like drive him around to places we would carpool. Um, he wasn't all that good with directions. He actually had a, a GPS in his car, but he said sometimes even with the GPS, he would get a little lost going to new places. So I ended up sort of driving a lot and we went to a lot of things together. So uh, when, but the thing I remember most about him that really sticks in my mind, he had this, this way of talking about things that he really enjoyed. He would say, that's so good. He just put such an emphasis on, it's so good. Even just remembering like the foods that he enjoyed when he was a kid or uh, playing with, with pets, he really loved uh, dogs. and Just you could sort of see in his face when he said something was so good that just thinking about it sort of lit up his face. So um, I'm really going to miss him. And Kumar is going to be my, my so good memory. As, as free thinkers, you know, we don't, we, don't, we don't consider the possibility of an afterlife. Uh, there's no evidence for that. Um, and so a lot, of, a lot of people, a lot of religious people, I think, um, use that as a way of giving meaning to something that happens to us that is utterly meaningless. And, and every death is, is meaningless. And, um, but I think that it allows us getting rid of that concept of the afterlife allows us to, to turn around and say, you know what, the, the death may be meaningless, but the life has meaning. And I think clearly Kumar's life had meaning, special meaning for, for many of us here. And, um, so I'll, I'll miss him as well.